Yep, another little blaze fragment. Kind of a cool trail. They all are. <clears throat> if golf is a good walk spoiled, the bay circuit is a good walk unspoiled. Ah, and this is approaching the Wampatuck Pond Overlook. Little early morning fishing boat action out there. So we came from this way, up by 14 and 53, and the ingoing point, the northern entrance, which is only separated by a tiny distance from the outgoing parking lot entrance. It is not a loop though, it's a V. Anyway, it brings you to the Tupelo Point campsite. And this sign is new, so maybe they're entertaining the idea of a little camping. It's a congenial spot to view the pond. And a nicely appointed campground with a cool moldering old bench and an upset chipmunk. More benches with a rustic look. Oh yeah, that's great. Looks hand-hewn in some way. And it brings you down to the pond overlook. And so we take our leave of the Tupelo Point campsite and the Hanson Veterans Memorial Forest. It appears as a tiny little bump on the map. And now we'll work our way back to the parking lot. trail comes down from this direction. You can see the confidence blaze right here. And this is where we came from down to the Tupelo Point campsite. And this is where it begins to head back to the parking lot near the top of the base of the U or the apex of the point. What have you?
first time I've seen much in the way of beach around here. Beach are popular with bears. They like to scratch them to show off their height. Oh, there's a really huge beach. You could hear a, the rattling sound of a kingfisher not far away. In the course of doing this, I've come to be surprised at how common kingfishers are. And we came this way, little beach grove. And now we're heading this way. This place doesn't appear to be visited very much. Okay, so we came through this sort of sparsely maintained and not very well blazed section, giving rise to a bit of doubt as to our location, but fortunately another blaze fragment can be found right where you cross an odd little muddy, mossy, vernal stream. Big old wintergreen birch. Make a kind of syrup from this gray birch. Yeah, we came from this direction and the trail is pretty obscure here, but it's a time of year when the leaves, falling pine needles and everything momentarily obscure its traces. I mainly look for little U-shaped dimples in the forest surface, surface to give me a sense of where a trail is. Sometimes it's just a whisper. sort of hit the base of the bend and now we're heading our way back towards the street. And here's where you meet some old access road and we came from this direction there's Wampatuck Pond off in the distance and we're heading this way through a grove of old white pines 
with a cameo from Harry.